Well, I've dreaded slash anticipated that this moment would come, the time when my past meets my future. As many of you know, today is my last day here at News Channel 5, and I leave with, of course, so many great memories and lots of gratitude. From the first time I walked into this building that looked more to me like a space pad, to the numerous school patrols we've done, getting the chance to meet teachers and students alike from Middle Tennessee to counties outside of the area has been one great adventure. I've covered musicians, politicians, at least one sitting president, and tornadoes and floods along with families, some of them celebrating, some in mourning, all of them important. Also important, the people I work with. I couldn't have done it without them. People like Charlie Woodward, who was the videographer on most of my school patrols. Charlie was so memorable that if I saw a teacher outside of school, they wouldn't ask, how are you? They'd say, how's Charlie? <laughs> then there's Sandy Boonstra. Sandy is news director here at News Channel 5, but to me, she's more of a friend. Both of us are from Michigan and got hired around the same time. Sandy is someone I could always talk with and not be afraid to approach just because she was news director. She's truly a great news director director, but more importantly, a great friend. Then there is the news icon, Chris Clark. Chris was my first co-anchor when I was hired, and we were together for years. I can't think of anyone whose judgment I respect more. If I ever had any questions concerning a story or needed an opinion on anything, work-wise or personally, he was the news guru I would go to. He's just one of the best people that I know. Chris, Ron Howes, and Hope Pines are truly family members to me and always will be. We still get together to catch up. And around 16 years ago, I made a new friend, Rory Johnston. As serious as Rory can be when it comes to important news, he's also a lot of fun. I believe you may have heard one or 100 of his dad jokes. <laughs> Rory is what we call good people. We talk a lot about our kids, about the state of the world, about which new restaurant is the best. I'm also like his big sister when I have to be, and I'll let you ask him about that. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie Sharp is just that. She's sharp, always on point, doesn't suffer fools, but can tear up when there's a story involving children. Her children are sports superstars, and her husband is an Olympian, so you can expect to hear a lot from her family in the future. And Bree Smith is everything you think she is, whip smart, funny, and sassy. But when the weather takes a bad turn, she's on top of it. She also provides a base of personal support to all of us. There are so many others I could tell you about here at News Channel 5, but I'll mention just one more. Her name is Tawanda Coleman, and over the 40 years she's been working here, I know that you've seen her on Talk of the Town, but she's done it all. Worked cameras, produced segments, interviewed the greats. But Tawanda will best be known by me as one of my dearest friends. Coming into a new environment when I came to Nashville, Tawanda was my guide and my support, and will remain close no matter what the circumstances. And I certainly cannot sign off without giving three specific people my heartfelt love. My children, Max, Alex, and Tori, have been with me on this journey every step of the way. They were babies when we moved here, and they are now successful adults and have added to the family with two wonderful daughters in love, as I like to call them, Christina and Nayeli, and the most beautiful grandchildren ever, Logan and Maya. Not that I'm biased or anything. <laughs> Thanks, family, for our lifetime adventure. And so much love to my sister Michelle, who would listen in to my concerns all the way from Detroit and always have good advice when I was fresh out. I love you, sissy. And to my sister from another Mr. Frida Harris, let's get to traveling. Finally, and most importantly, to the viewers who have been unbelievably kind and supportive over the years, thank you so much. You've lifted me when I was unsure, and you have spoken the sweetest of words about me retiring. Despite everything, it is you who I will remember the most. So if I've missed anyone, blame it on my head and not my heart. Oh. Please know that I truly feel blessed to have been a part of the News Channel 5 family, and God bless you.